It is time now for Perspective. My two guests today are Anna Graham and Denis Bruno. Well, they are both a part of the Bite Equal Project, which is a prototype of a sustainable, eco-friendly building that is adapted to hot temperatures in the Middle East. Well, that project won the third prize for the first edition of the Solar Decathlon Middle East competition in November of 2018. Thank you both so much for joining us on the program today. Thank you for having us. Uh, so to start, you both participated in that Solar Decathlon Middle East initiative, which has been kind of described as an Olympics for, for sustainable buildings, if I'm not mistaken. Can you tell us more about what it aims to do? Uh, it um, challenges uh, students from all over the world to construct, to build a sustainable house uh, uh, so, uh, powered by uh, solar energy. And um, it has 10 contests. So, um, uh, it was it was a really really uh, fun experience because uh, you, we met uh, people from all over the world and we were all having the same adventure and uh, it really didn't it it was a competition but it really didn't feel like competition it was really a, a, a team and we were all very united and helping each other and at the end it was just having fun and experiment uh, in these uh, uh, great years that are the university and student years. <laughs> and yeah, I don't know if you have anything to add to. Yeah, that's an amazing thing from, with students, professors and, uh, and companies working together from the campus of Bordeaux. So several schools, School of Architecture, School of, of, of uh, University of Bordeaux, Arts et Métiers Paris Tech, and working with financial support and help from these companies, help from uh, Aqu New Aquitaine region, help from uh, Ministry of Culture and from uh, Foundation of the University of Bordeaux. Uh, yeah. Okay, and I imagine obviously all of the buildings, it's the solar, uh, solar decathlon, so I imagine all of the buildings have to be in some way uh, yeah. powered by solar power. Yes, yes, uh, that's the, the, the main uh, goal. And we have a, we're limited in the surface and we have a, like a pyramid, a volume pyramid that we must respect. Uh, and it, it's really fun to see all what other teams in other co corners of the world imagine uh, having the same rules uh, it's a really uh, re really creative uh, process uh, the, the conception and the design and building the house with our own hands and later operating it and making it function and when you see that everything works it's like wow <laughs> we made it <laughs> it's impressive it's almost like a modern day lego type, yes, exactly, a real size exactly. lego one, a scale one, <laughs> yeah, one one exactly so your bitey cool project won the third prize at the competition and we do have some images there Yes. that we can see. Can you work us through exactly how the house works and more about the project in general? Uh, yes. So um, we, um, we, we, we focused on, on two main, main things. It's uh, uh, how to be energy efficient and how to integrate all the, the living so uh, all the biological and uh, all the water systems. We have a, a, a very uh, dry skin. It's uh, inspired in um, Moshrabia. So this skin is the, the first uh, uh, block for solar uh, radiation, and but it also allows light to come inside the house, so have natural lightning. And um, so we, we focus on, the, we really focus on the envelope of the house so that we uh, really uh, low the, lower the, uh, thermal uh, loads of the of the house, and th this way we could um, reduce our energy consumption on all the air conditioning. So, and we we have um, also uh, well, we'll see. Th that's the structure. It's a CLT structure. Um, then we have uh, well, that's that's the the patio, the internal patio. We'll see. Those are the internal walls, mm -hmm. um, the uh, roof structure. Uh, those are the, 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 the skin, and we have uh, uh, integrated uh, solar panels in the, in the three facades, and that uh, we won the BIPB uh, uh, award. It's a uh, building integrated photovoltaics. And then we also have um, a pergola, a mobile roof. Uh, it will come later. <laughs> and uh, uh, there we have uh, um, the, our main uh, solar, solar uh, uh, Roof. Uh, roof, yes, and it, it moves, uh, it, it's, it's closed during the day to generate uh, the power, and uh, during the, the, the night it opens to release all the heat. Okay. And, okay. and it also protects the, the, the green roof that we have and all the aquaponic system in the, in the middle. So it's, uh, when you enter, you see a very dry uh, outer uh, uh, skin, and when you enter, you have a really uh, living and welcoming uh, uh, patio. Uh, that is the the entry of the house, and that's where we integrate all the living the living systems and the aquaponic systems with fish and 
uh, that everyone loved that. It was all the kids loved the fish, and <laughs> it was really fun to see how people interacted with the with the building because uh, we we didn't know how it would be uh, welcomed by the public. Well, it looks like it was it was well received, yes, even that you exactly. won a prize. Uh, <laughs> Professor Bruno, perhaps you as a, as a as a researcher, how how did you contribute? What did you contribute to this project? This kind of project are time from for students and company to develop innovations. So they develop innovation in a, in energetic. I will say, for example, they can can produce cooling from the sky. From the sky, they take the, the cool of the sky to put it in some water, and then the water is distributed in the house to cool the house. They develop uh, innovation in the water cycle, because the, the, the water is used three times. One time for your shower, mm -hmm. then it's uh, washed by lumbric and, uh, and uh, solar uh, treatment, and then it could be reused in an aquaponic system which produces the food for the family which live inside, uh, and the rest could be used on the roof of the, of the, of the building in order to cool it by uh, uh, evaporation. Uh, a, a uh, the same care has been taken uh, on the use of energy, that is, the, the solar panel, which are fully included in the, in the skin of the building and in the um, uh, opening of the, of the patio, is made so you have energy in the morning, energy in the night, energy during the day, and uh, you can storage the over you have of the energy to use it when you when you need it. So we are quite independent of uh, of the grid. Uh, this way of innovation is also about with the social way of of living this building. That is, this building has been sought for the people who will live in it and how they will use it, especially for the patio, which is a place when you could uh, appreciate the night with the fresh, the relative fresh, because it is uh, in uh, Peninsula Arabica. And that's the way we, we developed this project and, and the way it has been appreciated, I think, in, the, in Dubai. No, at the present time, the project is not finished because we re-implant this, uh, this house in a sustainable village, which in the name is the Sustainable City. And uh, uh, Anna, you were there in, uh, yes, uh, weeks, two ago. weeks ago. <laughs> okay, uh, and uh, it has been rebuilt. And mm. uh, now it is used by uh, colleagues because there is some partners there, uh, Amity University, and uh, with their students and with students uh, of uh, Bordeaux, which are do going there, fully uh, instrumented. All the measurements we get back uh, directly in France, and uh, we live really in this house in order to experiment it and to to know what is good, what is. Uh, to be it. And what could perhaps be applied as, as a, a living model in the yeah, future, exactly. I imagine. All right, well, thank you guys so much for your time. Unfortunately, that's all we have time for. Thank you for, for having us. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>